real uh, fishing, hunting, and trapping. Now, it been our, our trapping ground and hunting place, that been gone for years because of the erosion and all that, so we lost that. But I'm still a fisherman. Still, and then, uh, you see, we wait, we, we have over here, we have like two seasons, our May season, our, that's our brown tramp season. Then we have an August, that's our white tramp season. But we're, we're waiting for the season to come. But this season, since I've been working, that's the first season that I ever miss. But it's, it's a real life and it's something that you enjoy doing. To me, every day I my dad, it's almost like Christmas. Because with Christmas, you open your present and you're happy. I my dad, I'm working. I can't wait till I pick up my forward and do that bag and see how much shrimp I got. This oil spill is impacting us on three different levels. One is the uh, economic side of it, the environmental side of it, and then the cultural side. We have a lot of our people who are still traditional fishermen. They have done mm -hmm. that for generation after generation, uh, as my dad has done. You know, he's 74 years old. His father did that before him, my grandfather, and he does that to this day. My father, he called me a trader, a trader. And my father used to treat everybody. When I was little, we didn't have all the doctors we had now. People from all over would come and see him to get treat. But he used to have herb. Every treatment he do there for every sickness, he used to go in the world and find the herb to make the tea to cure that sickness. I'm gonna bring all that I got over there. I'm gonna keep some over there for me. But I'm gonna bring all I have over here. We lose it one place, we have ten other places.